So here's how to purchase domain and hosting. With this, I'm going to be using Hostinger. I use them personally. I love them. They have a great price. And if you click the link in the description or the pinned comment, you'll get taken to a page that looks very similar to this, where not only can you get up to 75% off web hosting using my link and coupon, you can actually save a little bit more. So when you arrive on this page, what you want to do, as you can see, you get a free domain and website migration if needed. You get a few other things, but I just want to talk about the pricing and maybe which one's going to be best for you. So arriving here, simply click on the claim deal button and it's going to take you down to finding the perfect plan for you. So very quickly, let me go over which one I think is going to be best overall. First and foremost, premium is going to be everything you need to create your website. So if you're an absolute beginner, if this is the first website you're going to be creating, maybe you only need one or two websites. Ideally, this could be pretty good for you. You're looking at $2.99 a month and you also have a 48 month term. Keep in mind that you do get three months if you utilize that. I will talk about that a little bit later. So the biggest perks here are going to be 25 websites. You get 25,000 visits monthly, 25 gigs of storage, and of course, another one's gonna be the weekly backups. You also get 50 mailboxes, that's gonna be a difference, okay? So if you're an absolute beginner, you're definitely gonna to wanna to go with that. So what's gonna be the reason for going from premium to business? It's only $1 more. You get to level up with more power and enhanced features. So maybe you're not a beginner, or even if you are, maybe you just want more features and benefits overall. As you can see, the websites are gonna double from 25 to 50. So if you need more than 25 websites, this is definitely what you're gonna be going with. If you need more than 25,000 visits monthly, 100,000 is gonna be great. As you can see with storage, 25 to 50 there, you go from 50 to 100 mailboxes. But in my opinion, this is one of the biggest perks here. You get daily and on-demand backups. So for this, you can protect your website data with automatic daily and on-demand backups. Daily backups are stored for seven days and weekly backups are stored for seven weeks. So this is beneficial because compared to the previous one, it's gonna be weekly. And I say this because I am prone to breaking my websites. I've done it multiple times in the past. And if you create a lot of content, a lot of blog posts, make a lot of changes, and you mess it up, you might have to go back a week previously, which could be a lot of work that you ultimately lose. So having a daily backup, I think, is one of those hidden gems of a feature where if you feel like you're going to be breaking things, this can come up and be very helpful. Okay, so that's going to be the reasons why you might want to use one or the other. And if you really just want something more powerful, like if you need 100 websites or more visits monthly, you'd probably go with Cloud Startup. You're going to know if you need that or not. Like if you're in the beginning range, you're probably here. And if you want a little bit more, you can go with business. So ideally, what you want to do here is to choose a plan that works best for you. For this, just as an example, I'm going to click on business here. All right, so I talked about how when using my link, you're gonna get the best discount possible. As you can see here, you're gonna get a 71% discount. And even better, I have a coupon code for you. If you look down below, either in the description or the pinned comment, it's going to be there. I don't wanna say what it is specifically because I'm always making sure that I'm using the proper one. That way, if I say a coupon code is X and it changes to Y, it doesn't confuse you. So if you look down there, simply type it in or copy and paste it click on apply and you're also going to get a nice little extra discount. That's my way of saying thank you for watching this video. So aside from that, we have our payment periods here. You can choose from one month, which I don't recommend. I'll get to why 12 months, 24 and 48. So ideally, if you know that you're going to be using your website for the long term, which a lot of people are 48 months is going to be the best here. You get your free domain, which is gonna be with any pay period, but this specifically, you also get three months free. And also the biggest thing here is that once this payment period ends, it's gonna renew at around $9 a month. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. And in my opinion, that's still a good price. There's a lot of other web hostings that actually charge more for that right when you're getting started. But as you'll notice, say you go to 24, this now goes to $10 a month once it renews, plus it's gonna renew quicker and you lose those three free months. If you go to 12, you're gonna see the renewal price is gonna get higher and higher where it renews at $14 a month, which is significantly more compared to the bigger plan. So that's the reason why I recommend the big one. And when you look at one month, it's just $14 a month with a $5 setup fee. It's just not a good price. You also don't get the discount, so nothing really too good there. So in my opinion, 48 is going to be the best if you know you're gonna be using it for a long time. It's the best pricing. It's the best value. You get your free domain and the three months. And of course it renews at the lowest price. So choose which one is going to be best for you. I just wanted to make sure that I walked you through so that you know the difference is there. Don't forget to use that coupon code that I have in the description or the pinned comment. Add it in, click on apply, and you're going to save even more money. After doing that, click on the continue button. 
And all right, there's actually two more steps, both very easy to do. What you wanna do here is register using your primary email or you can use Gmail if needed. Make sure this is not like a spam email, all right? Because what they're gonna be doing is sending you your login information and all your details when it comes to your account. So you're gonna to wanna to do that, click on register. I already have an account, so I'm not gonna do that. But ideally the last page is just gonna be where you pay. So uh, what it's gonna do is show you everything that you have and the pricing. And just to let you know, this is about getting obviously a domain and hosting. When you purchase with Hostinger, you get your domain after you purchase, okay? So you're going to go into your dashboard, and that's where you can get your free domain and do any of that. But aside from that, that's going to be the quick tutorial when it comes to purchasing a domain and hosting with Hostinger specifically. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And don't forget to click that link in the description and use the coupon code that I have that can help you save a little bit more money. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and enjoy your discount.